Hello everyone, I hope everyone is having a good day today. Today I'm going to show you guys the click track software that I use um, on a regular basis and it's in my previous video. But right now I'm going to give you guys a more um, uh, hands on and uh, I can show you guys the features and different things of that nature. Um, I'm not sure if this software is on the um, Apple store but I know it's on the Google Play store. First, I'm going to show you guys how to install it. It's very simple. Um, you go to the Google Play Store. Now, once we in the Google Play Store, you go up to the top where you can search, and you can actually type in Loops, and then you can actually take, uh, type in X. Well, okay. Once you do that, it pops up on its own. So you can actually type in loops by XME or just type in loops and then put an X beside it and then it will pop up. Let me go ahead and zoom in here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, after you do that, you click on it. I already have it installed. This is actually um, some excellent software. It's $9.99 a month, $10 a month, you know, whatever. Um, and it, it has so many click tracks. I mean, pretty much any song you can think of, it have many, many click tracks in this software. And one thing I like, I like about this software, you can actually use it offline as well. Some click track software, if you don't have signal or your Wi-Fi isn't connected or whatever the case may be, you won't be able to use the click tracks. With this one, this one actually works offline as well. So that's a neat feature. Um, the fact that I'm already um, paying for it, I could just hit open. Now, once we first open it, it takes us here to this screen, and it have hundreds of thousands of click tracks. I hope you guys can see this real good. It have hundreds of thousands of click tracks in here. Hundreds of thousands. So if there is a song um, that you want to listen to, it's very simple. Um, you click on it. This is A Friend of God by Israel, and you just hit play. It's simple as that. Let's go ahead and get the volume turned up simple as one two three if you want to stop it you just hit it it stop one thing I like I like about this software um, also if we play it again we could adjust the tempo here and we could also adjust the volume here simple simple I love simple and this software is definitely simple now um, this software don't, don't just have um, Christian click tracks they also have secular click tracks so if we go up here to the top right and we click on this it says uh, Christian loops secular loops and then it say XME loops so if you go to secular loops for example it have some secular loops of course it have you know different things you know Michael Jackson now the list with the secular loops isn't as big as the uh, actual Christian loops but you have Tupac uh, California Love you got Candy by Cameo Climax by Usher Black or White by Michael Jackson let's go ahead and check one of these out we hit play simple as that the click track stop playing okay so let's go back so like I said you go up to the top right you can choose from Christian loops secular loops and XME loops the XME loops is just loops that the uh, people who made the program, um, they just put some of the loops that they created um, in here. Uh, for example, you got this electric guitar riff in E minor. If you hit that, it just play like a little riff. So anyways, um, yeah, so those are the main features of this software. Now, it is a playlist, and I use this on a week weekly basis. If you scroll down here to the bottom, click right here it say playlist if you click on that mine say Sunday right here on the top mine say Sunday so uh, but you can name it anything you want to name it now you can have multiple playlists as well I have one called Sunday now if I wanted to make another playlist this little plus button on the top right I will hit that I can name it whatever I want and it'll create another playlist and I can add my songs in that playlist so, if I click on Sunday, for example, or whatever you name your um, playlist, it's going to have all the tracks in here that I placed in here. 
Now to add um, some click tracks in here, once you're in your playlist, all you do is you hit the plus sign. Once you hit the plus sign, it's going to give you absolutely all the click tracks that's in the tablet. It has to be well over a thousand. I don't know how many, I never counted, but there's so many of them. Now, you can scroll down and pick the ones you want, or, or you can just search on the top. So if you already know the name of the song or the name of the artist, you can just type it in on the top. So for example, if I wanted Marvin Sapp, I can start to type in the word Marvin. Okay, they don't, nothing is popping up with that. Okay, I need to, okay, I made a mistake. Okay, so let's go back here. Let's go back to Christian Loops. Now, everything should work out fine. Okay, so now that I'm back in my, um, my playlist, like I showed you guys earlier, now if I type in Marvin, okay, let's go back here to the beginning. Let's reopen it up. I have to change it back to the Christian. Um, there we go. Now when I go to playlist, I go to my playlist, Okay, so like I said, to add more to it, you hit the plus on the top right. And then, like I said, it's going to list hundreds of thousands um, of click tracks or loops, whatever you want to call them. Um, so let's say, for example, if I wanted to do a, um, let's say Rance Allen. I click on the top. I can start typing in some of his name. Rance, for example. Now, the fact that I typed in Rance is going to give me everything that has the name Rance in it. So let's say if I wanted to do a little louder, there is two of them in here. Let me zoom in so you can see it. There is two a little louder. So I just click on the top one. Click that. Now it's added into my playlist. As simple as that. Okay. So now I'm back to the list of my... Um, I'm back into my playlist again. So now, if we look right here, right here on the bottom, it says a little louder, Rance Allen. As simple as that. Now it's added in there. If I want to play it, of course, I hit it. Simple as that. Simple as that. Um, I have um, quite a bit. Uh, some of my, um, some of my uh, click tracks, uh, some people call them loops. Some of them, I just leave in here. Like a lot of the praise breaks, there's different praise breaks in here. I just leave them in here. So whenever that time come, I just, you know, click on one. You know, so for example, here's one. Like I said, it's hundreds of thousands of them. Now, one thing I like about this software too, and I have to give credit to the developers that I love, is if you go to the right right here, it say contact us. And uh, let me. Okay. Hopefully, you guys can see that now. But, anyways, it say contact us. Then it say, would you like to request new loops or report an issue? So, with this software, they already give you hundreds of thousands of loops in the software already, but you can actually request more. Or if it's loops in here and you don't like the way they sound, you can request that as well. And believe me, because I've done it, they will fix it. And within a couple of days, They'll email you back and they'll let you know that your um, your loop has been fixed or whatever the case may be. And um, so they are very, they're very good with their customer service. And uh, I give them an A plus for that. That's pretty much all it is to this software. Like I said, it's amazing software. It have hundreds of thousands of click tracks in here. And like I said, you don't have to be online. So it does work offline. And they do update these all the time. Now, you won't know whenever they have been updated. They don't email you anything or let you know. But sometimes you'll come on here and then tomorrow, for example, it'll be songs on here added that wasn't on here before. So they're constantly adding uh, click tracks. They're constantly rebuilding click tracks and everything. So that's a nice little feature. So I give the, the, um, the developers a thumbs up on that too. So anyways, this is the click track software that I use. It's called Loops by XME. If you want to, you can check it out. You can download it on the Google Play Store and you can um, actually test it out with a demo or whatever. Go ahead and give it a try. Give this video a thumbs up, please. Like and subscribe. See you next time.